Hi, welcome back. In previous videos we've looked at pivot tables extensively and in the previous video we looked at how to use different functions like an average function instead of a sum. And there's one more function that I really like to talk about and that this is called the distinct count. So it's different from a count if or a normal count function where you just count the number of lines. This distinct count counts the number of different customers, in this case, that have bought a specific beer. So if you use a distinct count, you can see what beer is popular with a lot of different people. And that's really a different measure from a count. And in the exercises, we will talk about this distinct count a little bit more. So this is why I wanted to show it to you. But there's one thing in the whole pivot table view that we haven't really looked at yet, and that's this columns right here. So we filtered, we use different functions, different values, but we haven't add columns to the mix. And columns in a pivot table literally add another dimension to your data analysis. Because in previous videos we've only looked at this row dimension, and now we're also going to add columns in our pivot table. So let's have a look at how that goes. We don't need the guest ID and the, quantity and the count anymore. What we're going to add is, as rows, is all the different times. And what we're going to add as the calculation is the sum of the quantity, uh, the count of the quantity. So what we see now, per time of the day, how many quantities have we sold? And then we drag in columns. So we add the guest IDs as columns. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can better see what happens. So what we see now is an overview of per customer at the time of the day, what is actually being sold. So you can see this first customer right here, he's a regular. He buys beers at 5 p.m., at 7 p.m., where the second customer is different. He either buys before dinner or after dinner. And the third customer, again, is different because he only comes in late at night. And by analyzing your data in this way, you really get an overview of what exactly happened, what times, what customers are doing. So this is not really meant for having a, an overview analysis. It's meant for really diving into your data. You can exactly see who is buying what at what time. So let's add another example of using columns. So instead of using guest IDs, we're now going to use beer IDs, but we're keeping time as rows. So now we can profile beers. We see that this first beer right here is really a beer for early in the evening, where our second beer is a beer that's been sold late at night more. So by adding columns to your pivot table, you're not summarizing anymore. It's more like profiling what exactly happens in our data. And this, again, allows you to really gain a more detailed understanding of what is happening in your data.